This is a three bedroom, five bath, 3,700 square feet. To me, this is the most iconic New York City apartment. Meet Oren Alexander. The 25-year-old Mr. Alexander is part of a growing group of well-connected, youthful brokers finding success in the world of high-end real estate. Obviously, we're looking directly at Central Park. I think most sellers today want someone who's young, energetic, who's focused, their main focus in their life is selling their property, and that's what I've done. Last year, 34-year-old broker Kyle Blackman sold Sandy Wiles' penthouse on Central Park to 20-something-year-old Russian heiress Ekaterina Ryabolova for $88 million, the largest residential deal ever to close in Manhattan. Also in New York, 29-year-old Caroline Bass found fashion personality Tim Gunn a duplex penthouse on Manhattan's Upper West Side. In 2010, Soiloy Halaby brokered a deal for Mexican billionaire Carlos Slim to buy a 20,000 square foot mansion for $44 million. And this month, Josh Flagg, who stars on Bravo's TV show Million Dollar Listing, got the listing for Hollywood producer Gavin Pallone's $15.9 million house in Beverly Hills. So this is obviously the master and probably the best view in the whole apartment. This is the view that you want to go to sleep to. This is the view you want to wake up to. This is an $18.8 million view. Selling houses has grown much more attractive as other more traditional options like finance and law have grown more difficult with the recession. Also, reality TV shows about real estate brokers have glamorized the job, drawing more young, ambitious college grads who see it as a lifelong career rather than a side gig. I don't have a wife, I don't have a girlfriend, I don't have kids. My business is my life. In August, Mr. Alexander shattered real estate records when he sold the most expensive home on record in Miami, a $47 million estate in Indian Creek. Now he's marketing two adjacent estates in Alpine, New Jersey, with a total price tag of $95 million. It's about being at the right place at the right time. If I need to travel to San Tropez, or if I need to travel to St. Bart's or to Aspen at certain times of year when those, when those clients are there, I'm there. Last year, Forbes for the first time began a 30 under 30 list for the real estate industry. The National Association of Realtors Young Professionals Network, a group for younger brokers, has seen its membership swell in recent years. This is my favorite room in the house. Um, we're in the bathroom. In other apartments in the building, this is the bedroom. So here they actually just decided to give you space. And I like to call it livable. For many buyers and sellers, these young agents are the new power brokers. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Lauren Shukerblum.